So what I'm about to say about the Dick versus Eric July shit is not about Dick because he doesn't matter. He's just doing it for attention. Eric July is a black guy and he takes personal dignity insults quite seriously so that when Dick Masterson is calling him a fraudster, a cheat, a liar, a thief, a bad writer, a Negro that speaks of Onyx, he is going to take issue with that on a personal level because he's black and he doesn't want to be personally, he doesn't want his dignity insulted. Riketa is caught in the middle because he's got an issue. Riketa wants to try and grift off of the comic book comic gate people because they are a new profitable lucrative part of the parallel economy that exists to be exploited by him exactly how he exploited the uh, the uh, Vic Mignogna people during Weeb Wars to enrich himself um, the issue is is that Nick Riketa will never ever say a single thing about Dick Masterson because they are for whatever reason symbiotic and copacetic in their hedonist lifestyles and they refuse to cross each other for any reason so even when Dick is flat out saying that he's going to fuck with Eric July's business for no reason other than the fact that it brings him joy to do so. Uh, he will not denounce that. When Dick Masterson's former producer, Riley, physically visits his place of work to stick a sticker on the window that says, you can't ignore me, or you, you can't ignore this, or ignore this, uh, he's not going to denounce that. Actually, he does denounce that because Riley is a scapegoat like Vito. Vito and Riley are, are exist to be made fun of and to draw heat off of Dick Masterson. But he's not going to say, for whatever reason, when it gets brought up, he's going to argue the the um, the technicalities of the law instead of just, like, saying that it was a shitty thing to do outside of the, whatever, the, like, the law. If, even if the law doesn't permit you to murder Riley. And by the way, someone wrote about how I, I took R Eric July's side over Riley's. I would take literally anyone's side over Riley. Uh, there is not a person on this planet who's standing next to Riley does not look like a less piece of a shit, besides maybe Vito. Like, if, if Vito and Riley were in, in a car and you were drunk driving and you crashed into their car and they were both, like, torn in half, your drunk driving is retroactively justifiable and you are in the right. I, I want to put my position. They are what's what's it, ontologically worthless. They have no value. They are a negative value to the planet, and your accidental murder of them by drunk driving would, in retrospect, be a positive for be a be a net ethical positive for all of mankind. So don't even start me on that. Uh, number two. Wait, what was I going to say after that? I was making fun of Riley. Okay, yeah, Riketa couldn't did denounce Riley because he's a piece of shit, not realizing that Riley, as the agent of Dick, and a literal, and I, before someone say, making fun of me for using the word agent, as a literal work associate of his company, someone who generates profit for Dick Masterson, went out and fucked with Eric July on his premises. Uh, Dick should be obviously denounced for that as well. But he's not going to because he can't denounce Dick because Dick is his only friend, especially now that he's pissing off all the, the comic ache people. Uh, so all that's left for, for Riketa in his position of being stuck by Dick Masterson no matter what and not actually giving a fuck about Eric July and being able to throw him under the bus at a moment's notice is to drink. He has no option at his disposal to cope with the reality of his situation and the facade he must present besides to get absolutely completely and totally fucked and continue to go on stream because Riketa is a fucking alcoholic with holes in his brain. So he has had two streams on one Ripa put out a video saying that he's going to move forward. He's going to drop basically said that he's done with Riketa. He's going to ice Riketa out. So the first thing that R Riketa does is he gets on live stream and calls Ripa a nigger. And we'll get to that now. Oh, wait, this is a great clip. You have to watch this first. Hey, hey, Riketa, what you got there? I oh, yeah. yes, thing rage. Rage. Every every time. Time. Oh, well, uh, distrust everyone. I everyone, 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 everyone's a fag. I'd say, no, 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 Business they're all doing it for money, because clout, important. or whatever. And you've heard and people don't seem to realize this because no, uh, apparently uh, just yeah. That is, that is a normal thing 
who 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 amongst us hasn't taken an alcohol glass and licked every delicious little stain of alcohol from our lip smears off of it uh i will i listen with the, this picture in particular oh oh i want this one with the black bottles i i am not going to invoke a specific illusion, a specific mental image, which would possibly be named something mutt related. I will refrain with great restraint from making such associations chat. However, I will acknowledge that they exist and uh, simply refer to them instead. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not that, because I didn't say it, chat. I simply acknowledge that it would be possible for you, you're the ones, you're the ones who are, who are breaking the law, chat, not me, not I. Uh, okay. This is, this is what I mean. You know, I know, because I did practice, nigga. I love how effeminate he is in this. You know, I know because I did practice, nigga. This is like a gay man at a bar. He's like way too drunk and he's like in an argument and he's you like. You know, I know because I did practice, nigga. He's like all flamboyant and shit. He probably did the stream, by the way. He said nigga twice and said nigger with a hard R once. He didn't act. He didn't. Okay, let me rephrase because I don't want to. I don't want Dick to say that I'm not being sharp. He did not call Eric July nigger. He did not use that. He did not say, Eric July, you are a nigger. Uh, he did say nigga to him twice. And he did say the hard R once. Nigga. Shave that. <laughs> How does it go again? Shave, cut that yee yee ass hair. Or, uh, fix, the, fix that yee yee ass haircut and get some bitches on your dick. Shave that yee yee ass back hair and get some bitches on your dick, Ripa. <laughs> that that's what he should have done. Okay. Also, as a visual al uh, visual allegory to what's happened, um, Camelot, also known as Kumalot, a man who uh is perverse and shows up on all of Rakeda's streams to talk about sex, um, for whatever reason was into drag racing and had Rakeda Law sponsor his drag racing car. So now there are two cars with Ricada law nose Pope, uh, like things on them, which have crashed at the exact same time that Ricada is going on live drunk and calling Ripa the nigga, uh, his cars crash. And now we have two fucked up drag cars that have, uh, Ricada noses on them, which is just a beautiful poetic allusion to what's actually happening. It's that's great. Um, but, 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 so the entire thing, yeah, these are short. Uh, the entire thing is great. Uh, he's just seething at this guy, calling him a non-practicing lawyer. Uh, it's pretty funny. And then we have a follow-up drunk stream, which will take up more time. This is apparent last night. So here we go. We're going back to it. Uh, and he, you know, he's like, well, you shouldn't tell people. Well, if I ask you the cost, then that should be what it is because you said, like, no, why would. No, yes, it, it should be. Uh, imagine, imagine, honestly, imagine that you have lawyers and you've solicited a price for a charitable donation. And you're not, like, even after that stream, you're going to go online and be like, well, no, that's not the cost. Let me talk about other costs. Does it cost $17 to print and ship one book of ISOM? to charity like you asked the answer is yes or you're in risk of committing a fucking charity fraud and it's not me who thinks you committed fraud brother it's the fucking irs the answer is just goddamn yes that's it because i believe it costs 17 dollars why won't you just say it why won't you just Say that it costs $17 to ship one fucking book. Yes. Okay, does it cost $13 a book to ship 10? Yes. Done. End of story. So goddamn well, simple. I, no, the cost of the price per book for the customer was as I stated and why. Because we advertised it as, well, if you buy more books, 
you can get more to the charity. It's incentivize you. And obviously it's not about wins or losses because there's no way we could possibly make uh, uh, make really any money from that. That's not true, by the way. That's not true. I, I don't I don't know the production costs. I don't know. But if you listen to I just I just don't understand. It's like a couple dollars per book. If he is making any money off the donation, it's literally like a couple dollars per book. Cause I I've done like printing and apparel and shit, and it's not cheap. I know it's like two fifty, like when he does a bulk order order and shit, but it still costs money to have like personnel handle it. It costs money to have like I don't know. I don't want to defend Eric July because I don't know the details of his business. I don't really give a fuck. It's such a like asinine thing to be obsessed with. Did he make a dollar per order when he sent money to the to the charity? Or to uh, books to the charity? I'm like, wow. But here's the issue. It's weird too because you don't understand the very basic principle that in charitable donations that you are soliciting online, the value you request and represent must match the value given. And if it doesn't match the value given, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I don't, I'm not saying you pocketed a single dollar. It doesn't matter what you do at that point. It's what you solicit versus what the outcome is and why people who are not me and who think of you in bad faith will say that you're defrauding children and why, <laughs> frankly, they will be justified to themselves in doing so because they don't believe you. And so if you come out with your long-winded, weird, faggy explanation, but oh, no, no, cost, the average cost is actually lower. That isn't helping you. That is feeding them. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you why this was bad. You didn't want to listen because you assume, Eric, because people have told you that you're a smart, articulate black man like Obama or whatever. I don't know. Other people are racist and say really condescending shit about how smart and articulate you are. Dude, this is the weirdest thing that he does. Okay, number one, that is obviously fucking condescending and weird. But like his whole, he does this thing now, and I'll point it out when he does it, but he does this thing where he like tries to talk like, like to a child when he talks to the audience. You know, say like, I wear... The baldo. I don't want to wear the baldo, but I have to wear the fucking baldo. And it hurts my fucking balls to wear the baldo. And, but, but if I didn't wear the baldo, then nobody would wear the baldo. So I have to wear the fucking baldo, even though I don't fucking like wearing the fucking baldo. And that's okay. And it is what it is. And I hold no ill will towards you or anyone. It's like that's that's like his weird thing that he does fucking constantly now. He like does this weird condescension with like you can see the clap emojis every word, and he's like really trying to enunciate how serious he is and how he's being totally transparent and and direct. And it's bizarre. It's like it's like really off putting. You believed it. I don't know. You're not a dumb guy. You clearly got great business sense. I love what you do. I actually like you so fucking much. We're libertarians. There aren't many of us. I agree with you on so goddamn much. But other people, because they're condescending to blacks, have told you that you're some special thing. And for whatever reason, you think you're the smartest guy in the room. Assume you're the dumbest. Be racist against yourself like I am. I'm Polish, man. I think a fire hydrant is trying to have sex with me and I put a ring on it, dude. Is that? I can't even spell Polish words because I don't know consonants. <laughs> Let me ask my Polish friend. Hold up. Do pull is there a Polish expression for fire hydrants wanting to fuck you and then marrying them question mark is that like an insult towards his wife is he calling his wife like a cold frigid sterile inanimate fire hydrant and he married her because that was like the first thing that he that he that propositioned him for sex is that what he's saying i'm, I'm waiting i'm gonna let you know if my polish friend responds with any insights about polish fire hydrants and marrying them it does feel like, now that I think about it, it does feel like a slight towards his wife. Like, I married a fucking fire hydrant. She's such a boring stiff. Crazy, crazy chat, crazy. Okay, next one from this one. But your arrogance and hubris and conditioning is showing. And because you <laughs> thought you were smarter than me, you said shit you shouldn't have said. And then you regretted it 
overnight because people pointed out that it didn't look good or, or you just did it internally. I don't know. And you woke up and decided to fucking bitch about it. Yeah, this, uh, he's referring to kind of there's actually three streams bef between Friday and today about Ripa. The first one is he was talking about some shit regarding dick and the fraud stuff. And Ripa went to his chat and said, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Let me on. And then they they had that. Oh, actually, no, that was before Friday. I actually showed that already. This is like his follow up. Ripa put out this video between that video and this one. I'm getting my time. You're not unique, Sorry, I'm not so sharp. It anymore. Every fucking time. I bring a hostile person on the stream. I hate calling you hostile. I'm not hostile to you. But you came in my chat. You came on my stream heated. If you try to pretend otherwise, you're being a bitch and you know it. Does he ever put that down? By the way. He privated the stream so I can't check, but I want to scan through it. And someone has to take one of his streams. Here's, here's my homework assignment for anyone willing to do it. Pick a random recent Ricada video. And scan through it and start time stamping any time that he has a wine or one of his whiskey glasses, like in hand, any kind of alcoholic beverage that's in a ready position, visible on camera, time stamp that segment, and then give me a rough estimate of how much of his screen time is done with a piece of, with alcohol in hand. Like in action, I bet you it's like close to half, like 50% of the time. I mean. You're still a great dude. These are your flaws. These are not things I don't like about you. These are things that as a streamer, and trust me. I don't know if this is true, but Patrick S. Tomlinson in chat said that Eric July farted into his wife's vagina. Does anyone know if that's true? I'm not so sharp anymore. I can't get my facts straight. But is it, is it true that Eric, Eric July farted into Nick Riccato's wife's vagina? That's gross if true. I know you mentioned smaller audiences or not as much experience or whatever. As a streamer, people have been sucking your cock for fucking years, telling you how great you are. You know how I know? Six years, bro. And a channel just slightly smaller than yours. I'm trying. Trying to catch up. I won't. You're way better at this. People will suck you off constantly and pump your ego up like a fucking Mario Party minigame. Don't listen. Don't give in. Be humble. Treat yourself like the dumbest person in the room like I do. I love the cat's reaction. Can we get a live cat reaction to Ricada's drunk rambling? Patrick T says, "I watched all of." This. He's like trying. He's like trying to be sincere, but he can't form a thought. So it's just like rambling. I fucking no, but bro, I was not the only fucking lawyer last night cringing at your answers. I know of at least four, specifically, who cringed at your answers. And yeah, they're practicing. Or whatever you're going to say next. Whatever little little perceived slight that you have. That, by the way, I don't misrepresent. I don't fucking care. So it's not an effective slight, my man. Dude, I'm not trying to harm you. So Nick Riccata is does not take uh, things to trial. Uh, if he does any kind of law, it's like paperwork. Basically things that can be done and over with really quick. Uh, so he really resents. And this is a common slight that he gets from his... his uh, uh, people who make fun of him. He's not practicing. I mean, he is a practicing attorney, like in the literal legal definition of it. But he just doesn't take any cases that actually go to court. Uh, and he, he gets really upset, apparently, when you point that out to him. Uh, Ripa did. He said that, you know, he talked to attorneys that actually take things to court, and they said dif differently than him. And uh, he got pissed, really pissed off at that. Uh, so... Oh, this is uh, one of his things where he just says, like, I love you, bro. You missed the bus so goddamn hard. You're smart if you're Arctic crazy. I was actually lower. That isn't help. Wait, I can do it. Okay. Glass goes up. Down. Okay. At 120, glass returns in the ready position. It stays there for the entire time. For six minutes, because he wants to finish his thought. He's like holding it up, ready to drink. This Bag the second that his mouth stops running, the drink is there for him to drink. So when he starts going off on his rant about Eric July, it's just hovering there, ready to be sipped. And then the second that he runs out of things to say, shlip, and it's over, and it's back down. But that's like five continuous minutes of the glass just hovering. You're like, hey, buddy. It's like um the ferry. 
and uh in the ocarina of time like hey listen drink me drink me hey <laughs> <laughs> uh that's what i'm doing is his sorry i didn't even play any of that i was trying to find the part where he does the whole i love you i love you buddy i want you to make all the money in the world buddy i want you to be a million trillionaire buddy i want you to billion trillion dollars buddy i love you buddy i got nothing but love for you buddy oh this is i think a reduced yes. and again but where's your proof nick oh how do you know nick i don't know Maybe because all of my fucking friends have made their own comic books. Maybe because all of them have done it, okay? Maybe that's how I know. But that's not the point. I still don't think Eric did anything wrong. I just think his explanation exposes him to risk. Why are you so fucking dumb and so committed to Eric that you can't understand that I'm trying to help him annihilate the risk of his bad answer. That's it. That's it. I think he over contributed. Probably. I don't know. But that's how I would do it. I would over contribute to the charity. Be Why? safe. Be extra conservative. That's what I would do. That's what I assume he did. It's not about what you did. It's about what you said. And what you said is inviting problems. That's what I'm trying to teach and help and assist. And he thinks I'm trying to drama farm and harm him. I'm not. I don't give a shit what you did. It's irrelevant because I don't think you did anything bad. Allow us to profit, but we're also giving them money. So I thought it the um what's really funny about Ricardo is that he did this thing where he's repeated because oh, because again eric july kind of invited himself onto stream and then Ricardo believes that eric's answers on that stream were bad and they did not help his case that he uh for whatever reason with the the, the charity thing and there's another stream I'm going to, uh, I was going to save this, but there's another stream that I'm going to play clips from where uh, he's responding to Eric July saying like, actually, I don't even think that this was on the stream, but Eric July later put out a thing saying like, I'm going to squash the beef with Ricada, which I think is just his way of saying like, I'm going to make sure there's no like active bad blood. And then I'm going to ice this retard out. At least I hope for his sake that that's his plan is just to be like, yeah, we cool, man. And then just like never speak to him again. I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to go for. Um, But when that happened, when they said like, let's uh, talk, like let's squash this. So there's no bad blood. They handled it in private, but then Rakeda is like sitting here, like trying to crucify his arguments. And it's saying, like, I tried to help you and let you come on my stream to argue your point, and then he did such a bad job, and it was just so crazy. It's like he's so willing to go into private to discuss any matter except the matter of his legal situation and his legal case. Like, instead of squashing that in private, he lets him air that shit out on stream by his own words and then hang himself for that. Like, if what he's saying is true... He's the biggest prick in the world because he's like, again, he's willing to go to private for anything except the one thing that really, really matters. That's not just sparing feelings. That's like actually like an ongoing legal issue. He, he lets that go out in public. Really, really shitty of him. That's seven minutes long. I don't want to play all that. Um, skip these because these are too long i'll be here all day after after this stream where he basically goes and does like a live react and just is like wasted the entire fucking time um he does another i, I think this is a different stream because he's wearing no oh, he's wearing the same shirt okay after uh, after let me correct myself after this stream it's just it's like a seven hour long stream i think it was and there's like a lot that happens to it. And it's mostly him seething about Eric July. There's one part where he responds to like a 10 minute video for two hours. And then there is the part after that where he invites Dick on 
to discuss Eric July further and shed on him more. And I find this this interesting because um, of what he says. Dick, uh, did did you contact the charity that Eric July was giving money to? Yeah. By the way, this is how little Dick cares about uh, Ricada. Dick is Dick is a professional podcaster. He does two different podcasts, and he's done at least one more with Maddox in the past. He has done hundreds of hours of of audio entertainment, audio primarily audio entertainment. He is eating into the mic for his friend's show. His friend invites him on. He is eating directly into the mic as a extremely uh, senior entertainer who does audio based podcasting that is how you know dick masterson's perspective of nick Ricada is ex- like he he just sees him as a fucking useless retard tool you did yes yeah i did Why? i wanted to that? know i wanted um that ab that uh that abtuse gnome guy sent me an email saying that they that they wanted they would rather have money than comic books you're and not I the thought, abtuse gnome guy no i'm not abtuse gnome did you encourage Abtus Gnome? No, I didn't even know Did about. You, no. Wait, you don't have an existing relationship with Abtus Gnome? Uh, only in that he's. I, I assume he subscribes to my podcast, but no. Why are you lying about this right now? Uh, about which part? All of it. You didn't tell Abtus Gnome to contact the charity. No, no. But you, um, you said you contacted the charity, though. Abtus Gnome contacted the charity. You contacted the charity. I, that's I you. contacted them separately to, to verify oh, what he Why would you contact the charity? Because I wanted to know if Eric was giving them money instead of just pocketing money from his charity sales. Was um, Eric giving them money? Um, as far as I know, as far as what I know, he wasn't when... I talked to them at first, and then at some point he was. I don't know if he had some kind of arrangement before that. I don't know if they did. I'm read- I might be reading into what the guy said, that he would rather have money, meaning he wanted more money. Um, I don't know, but my impression talking to him was that um, <clears throat> he wasn't getting what he thought he should get, which is money. If you're raising money for charity, they get the money. That's my... You- that's Stop my it. fucking philosophy. Sure. Yeah, I don't I don't care about that. I don't believe you. Well, would you um <laughs> were you trying to ruin Eric's business? With the charity? No. Are you trying to ruin Eric's business now? Yeah. Uh Why? I don't think anyone should buy Eric's comics. Uh money spent You're trying to ruin his business now? Yeah. No one should buy Eric's comics. Money spent in the pursuit of bad art is wasted money. Money should be spent. Wait, you're trying to ruin his business because of bad art? Yeah. His art's terrible. Not because uh, of the charity shit. No, I don't care about the charity shit. Uh, I you don't I, care I, about the charity shit. Why'd you talk about the charity shit so much? Well, I think he's. I think. I think dumb people are giving more money to Eric, thinking that they're helping charity. And I think they should keep their money. Do you think charity is? Uh, sorry. Do you think Eric is scamming charity? The charity. Uh, man. Yes. Uh, I you think do even. Okay. Look. Look, stop. Okay. I I get that you thought before, but after you contacted the charity, and I talked to Eric about this, um, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty clear. He says there's an existing agreement, and I take him at his word. I don't uh, – you don't know. I don't believe your opinion. I understand where your opinion com- is coming from, but mm-hmm. I don't believe it. So um, you fine. think that even after uh, Eric took money for charity – yeah. You called him out. You called the charity. The charity made a post. He made a subsequent donation. Doesn't that alleviate any problems you perceived with it? Like, isn't he okay now? No, I, I don't think he gave them enough, number one. And number two. How much should I, he have given them? 100%. At least 95%. If he collected, whatever he collected. Much, what percentage was, did he give him? I don't know. So he might have given them 100%. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to end it there. The, the most interesting part is just up front where he says, yes, I'm deliberately trying to destroy his business. It's like, I, I have a feeling, and I could be wrong, but I kind of feel that when it comes to the Maddox lawsuit, 
even if like Dick is only making like half of what his Patreon says, I have a feeling that the lawsuit made him so much money from driving new people to his show that he made, he's one of the few people, I think he even said this literally word for word, that he's one of the few people in the world who's made money from a lawsuit without winning like monetary damages. And I have a feeling that if you were to actually try to estimate the actual damages of Eric July that has received from Nick Masterson, it's not enough to really justify a lawsuit. And if he did try to sue Dick, then Dick would make more money from Patreon and the content of the lawsuit than he would from paying his attorneys to defend him from the lawsuit. And even if he lost, he would still probably make, from actual damages, he would still probably make more money. I think that he is now actually wording himself to try and get sued, to give Eric July enough of a case where he feels confident going into a lawsuit because Dick has already done the math in his head to try and provoke that from him and make money from LOL lawsuit 2.0. Um, Cause he, he figures that he'd probably make more money from the lawsuit than, than he would from uh, paying from the attorneys. And it's just a, a cold business thing. And if Eric July's business, you know, collapses as a result of, you know, legal fees and the drama and shit that that's whatever that's better to him because he doesn't like him um it's so slimy and so disgusting and the fact that Riceda is playing into it again makes me like Riceda even less than before so it's my thoughts on that uh he then went on twitter and remember with all these things um, again uh, my twitter is monetized and i am farming uh, engagement on it to get free money. So these are two whores trying to make a couple bucks on Twitter. Uh, he's arguing back and forth. He says he can do what he wants. I didn't give him advice. He can surely take my publicity, publicly posted legal expertise and do what he wants. That's not how giving legal advice works, no matter how very clearly you see it. Uh, and so on and so forth. He, again, going back and forth. It's so, it's so weird to me how much time Riceda and Dick spend on Twitter. They spend hours and hours and hours a day on Twitter. It's just such a fucking waste of life. Um, after Eric July and him quote unquote squashed the beef, uh, Riqueda put out like a small statement where he basically said like, I don't regret anything that I've ever said about Eric July. And even though I treat him like a dumb gorilla, I only regret my tone and I don't really regret anything I have to actually say about it. I says, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that while these sentiments I expressed last night are true, I probably overstepped. I'm going to talk it out with Eric in a bit when things calm down. From now, for now, I'll be my, I'll own being the asshole and apologize publicly for losing my cool. Until the dust settles, Eric July would be justified in thinking I'm an asshole who took things to a stupid level. This is the type of shit I say we shouldn't do all the time, and I engage in it. Apologies are lame, but sometimes they're justified. Um, I forgot why I pulled this up. I think I talked about everything. Uh, and then finally, this one clip I think is recent, but funny. Uh, it's funnier because it's recent, actually. But it's right. also true, of course, to falsely entrap people, right? You could invite someone to a location say hey i'm selling a snowblower uh, do, if you want to come look at it see if you want to buy it come over to the house and then when he shows up you say didn't you come here to see a 14 year old girl and he says what are you talking about him but if you put his face on the internet is that guy's reputation destroyed is he suddenly a pedophile to the whole world so it this is very dangerous territory we have and, right, and, and if someone's falsely accused of being a pedophile if you or i were falsely accused of being a pedophile we meet we might be rather pissed about that because it's reputation destroying of course and we can't allow our emotions to drive us into witch hunts against unproven guilt we have a criminal justice system so that people don't take justice into their own hands of course, the moment you say, oh, someone touched a child, you want the worst things in the world to happen to him. But anybody can make that accusation. We just heard it.
So obviously the joke is that Ricada is being sued because he called Montegraff without evidence someone who, quote, always sucked, liked sucking little baby penises, end quote. Um, Ricada, whenever he talks about this, omits that line. Whenever he talks about it, he says, I am being frivolously sued by an insane person for, um, for saying that he fucked a watermelon or something. He always downplays it as he fucked a, I say he, I said he fucked a watermelon. I made fun of him. I called him a vexatious litigant, which is true and so on and so forth. Like he mentions everything except the fact, the actual issue that, uh, Montegraff took issue with that he was called, which is defamation per se. I, someone who always likes sucking little baby dicks, which is a egregiously offensive statement. It is not a funny, it is not a joke. It's not a reference to anything. It has one literal definition. Uh, so, and I find that so, so distasteful how he lies about what he said. He lied to me. That, that's uh, uh, in case anyone is curious, that is what did it. Cause he bugged me over and over again for fucking months. Anytime I brought him up, he messaged me on Signal and said, look, I'm right here. If you have any questions about something I've said, you can message me and I'll get, I'll clarify it for you. And the one time I took him up on that offer, because I really didn't know what had happened. I said, what was the, what, what, what did you say about Montegraff that uh, caused him to sue you? And he told me word for word that he had said Montegraff probably liked sucking little baby penises, which is still horrible. It's a horrible thing to say to someone, but at least it's not like a fully declarative statement. And the reality is on rec it's in a fucking video. He said, always he, he lied to me, to my face. The one time I actually took him up on that, it made me look bad because it made me look like I was lying for him. And I wasn't, he, he told me that. And that was it. That was like, that was like a neck snapping moment when I realized that he just fucking fed me bullshit. And you can't tell me that he didn't know that he didn't know what he said because he's being sued. He's paying tens of thousands of dollars to one of the best attorneys in the fucking world to defend himself from a quote unquote frivolous lawsuit. And you, you mean to tell me, you mean to suggest that he forgot what he said that has cost him a hundred thousand dollars? Really? No, not a fucking chance. He, the only, the only reasonable thing to assume is that he fucking lied to me and that's just unreal it's unreal that he would lie about something so easily disproven too something so easily corrected simply distasteful chill simply distasteful um So there's that. There's all that. That's the just I think there's actually one more th thing <clears throat> that Alyssa had clipped Oh my god, so much shit. Alyssa has put out more clips in the last week than she's put out in the last year. Um, <laughs> look at how many of these clips have him holding a, a wine glass. I'll count. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Uh, three sober. One, two, three, four, five. Let's, I'll skip that one. That's not fair. Six. Drinking, uh, four sober. That's a monster. I'll count that as sober. Five sober, six. Uh, how? Oh, I lost track. I lost track. Chat. It's too much. It's too much. Chat. I'm trying to count two numbers at once. It doesn't work. Um. There was one more. Where it's like he's just doing the talk down thing. I want to see. Is this it? You'll actually get good at discerning that. Mm -mm. Is this it? Here's what I love to take to do because it's a serious drama fat stream because I fucking idiotic and they're. So I, I, I wish I had set this one aside because it is, it is the thing where he's like. Or he's like properly like doing the, the little boy voice and like talking down and being like, I fucking don't like to do this. And I fucking don't like it every time it happens. But when it happens, it has to happen. And that's how I feel about it. Oh, is this it? Oh, this is it. Actually, I think. 
for whatever reason um is is ludicrous um no i'll fight this fight all the way oh it is he's doing like a batman impression in this one i think and i've never suggested that i needed some funding goal or or some sort of incentive to, to no fight or otherwise I'd... no i forgot what it was sorry chat hate to end on a sour note like that i did forget what it was but he was doing the thing the baldo thing that i was making fun of where he's doing like his it's like i don't like the drama but when i am accused of something i didn't do i'll fight that every time all right tough guy calm down Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.